Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am back for one of you guys' favorite videos. We are doing some empties. Y'all know I like to do these um, quarterly, so I do them after the change of every season. Um, so I love to do empties because it pretty much keeps me accountable for making sure I'm using up my stash. You guys know I don't like to be the type of person that's always buying but never using. So I am a big proponent of using up my products. <laughs> so I share everything from candles, wallflowers, hair care, skin care, body care, all that good stuff. This box is overflowing. I went through way more than I realized that I did. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So first things first that I want to acknowledge, you guys know that I did do a video on things that I was trying to use up. I will link that in the cards above. Sorry, I'm like holding on to this box because it's super heavy. Um, and I did a decent job. Everything is in here that I wanted to have used up by um, by the time I did this video, except for one, two, three, four things. Yeah, so um, there were a couple of things that I ended up pushing off to the by the end of summer side because I realized how little product I really do use. You know what I mean? Like I was like, I'm not getting through this. And I'm like, that's because I hardly use any product. You know what I mean? So I had to kind of adjust my expectations, but I feel like I did pretty darn good. And I actually ended up adding some things in here that weren't in that video that were almost empty. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to pull off the top with something that I used last night. And I'm sorry if this looks gross, but I wanted to show you. I recently did a Lush haul and I featured this bath bomb. Um, and usually you don't have the, rem the remnants of a bath bomb. But um, this is the Deep Sleep Bath Bomb. I used it last night and it is packed with like lavender and chamomile. And it's basically like a tea bag <laughs> for your bath, except it has like the fizzy properties. Um, this was really good and y'all, it, it put me to sleep. I love it. So I'm sorry that this low-key kind of looks like a scrotum, but I wanted to show y'all. It's really nice if you're into that like herbal bath situation, but you don't want your tub to be looking crazy. Because there's nothing relaxing about taking a bath and then having to do massive cleanup afterward, right? I just want to rinse my tub out and go to bed. Um, another bath product. I showed this in my pamper routine with Nature's Little Secret. This is the uh, Love Rose and Vanilla Luxury Bath from Bath & Body Works. This is the Aromatherapy Collection and I love it. So good. I didn't get a lot of uses out of it though because... I use a lot of bubble bath, but I love the rose vanilla scent. It's one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. It's one of the few that lasts on the skin. This just gives you like cozy, sexy vibes in the tub. Like you, you just feel like that bitch when you're in the tub. You do. So I love this. It's so good. I will definitely repurchase it on sale. I don't buy Bath & Body Works not on sale um, because I feel like there's no excuse to like not buy it on sale. You know what I mean? They're always having a sale. Let's see another one is this Nikkei Shea butternut leave-in conditioner um Nikkei Shea was Ty Crable's brand but she doesn't make products anymore so I did finish this off I have like the slightest bit left but it's not enough for my entire head so I went ahead and threw it in the bin this was an amazing leave-in conditioner I absolutely love it um but she doesn't make products anymore and I can't buy it anymore so I said let me go ahead and let it go um, a recently hauled product, this is the little, my little tub of Sleepy Body Lotion from Lush. This was um, basically given to me as a gift. I think they were putting them in, the bo in boxes just because it was taking so long to get the orders. I love Sleepy. It's a sweet um, vanilla rose scent and I love it. It's so calming. I've told you guys a story about why I love this product so much already, but it's it's so good I love it I will forever purchase um I also used up the Ollie sleep gummies for a healthy sleep cycle with everything going on with lockdown and everything and not being on a schedule I found that my sleep cycle was just weird so I started taking melatonin again this is my favorite one because it works really fast you just chew it um it has elderberry um there's melatonin uh l-theanine um and it has a blackberry zen fragrance so it's like blackberry but a little minty i love this so much i love these um i already have another bottle 
because even with me being back at work, I started back at work yesterday, my sleep schedule is still a little bit off and especially having to make sure I wake up to go to work. Sorry, speaking of work, that was my job. <laughs> um, I don't have to go to work tomorrow. Oh, this has become such a favorite. This is the Nature's Little Secret um, Rose Hydrating Conditioner, y'all. Now y'all already know when I reviewed this the first time that I absolutely loved it. But since I've been, you know, working with Nature's Little Secret and just really like hunkering down on using the line, I love this so much. I have three more sitting in my room. One I'm using now. This is so good. It's so moisturizing. Sometimes I use it as a deep conditioner, but it does its job within like, you know, five to 10 minutes of having it in my hair while I'm in the shower and then I rinse it out and my hair is just so plush and luscious and beautiful. I love it. I love the scent. I love the texture. It's creamy. It's emollient. It's so good. I love this. So Rose Hydrating Conditioner. If you want to see what the hype is about, you can use my code third eye 20 so you can get 20% off um, of your purchase while you're on the website. But I love this so much. It's, it's totally backup worthy. This is a sad one. Um, I finished up my Camille Rose Citrus Blossom Cleansing Milk with Cashew Milk and Orange Blossom. This is now, I want to say, the Neroli Blossom, if I remember right. It has been renamed. Um, all the cleansing milks have also been reformulated. I've spoken so many times about reformulation when it comes to mass markets. There's no reason why we shouldn't have this understanding of how this works. So I understand do I think I will try it now? I probably will because I like this so much, but I'm going to keep my expectations kind of, you know, straight and narrow, right? But I love this. It was super cleansing. This was the only one in the collection that I had. I'll put my review up there because I have the review on the originals. Um, this is the only one that was like truly cleansing. This one has cocoa betaine in it. So it gave me a nice creamy lather. It was luxurious. It was spa-like. The scent was beautiful and it actually left my hair feeling soft and slightly moisturized. I also have, I put this in here because I'm literally going to use it in a few minutes. Um, this is the Soltanicals Fro Despair Vitamin Hair Repair. Um, this is their Mega Greens Deep Conditioner. And this is a really nice deep conditioner, but I don't like it as much as my others from the brand. So it has that green texture. It's starting to get a little loose. It's time for me to use her. Um, so I'm going to use this when I get in, um, in the shower because I'm about to film again. Um, I really love this, but it's not as good as my others. I love Chebe Ginger. Y'all know I love my um, hibiscus hair healer. Um, Afrotastic and Manoi Moisture Slip are amazing too. This just doesn't hold up to those. So it's good. Um, I would say if you've been curious, totally try it, but it doesn't compare to those in my opinion. I also used up the Honey's Handmade Cherry Almond Tapioca Cleansing Cream Co-Wash. I love this. I do have a review on it. Um, I'm probably not going to link everything because there's a lot of stuff chilling here, but this is really good. Super creamy. It has like a cherry almond scent, which is amazing. And it gives like a really nice light cleansing, a perfect midweek cleanse. It's really good. It's one of those products that it feels so good. You just want to keep applying it to your hair. It's amazing. <laughs> Another wellness product. I used up the Ollie Probiotic Plus Prebiotic for a balanced belly. Um, and this is their peach. It's peachy peach. Um, so you take one of these a day. This worked, but it's strong. This this was a lot for me. It was a lot. So I'm taking their just regular probiotic now, and I really like that. It's keeping me balanced, but it doesn't have me going to the toilet a lot. This one did. So <laughs> I say if you have a lot of like gut issues. This one may be good for you, but I don't really have issues like that anymore. Um, ever since I got things squared away with my surgery and my GI and everything, I just need basic maintenance. I don't need something that's heavy, but man, when I was going through it, this would have been good to have. So it, it works. It just looked, it worked a little too good for me, okay? <laughs> I also used up my um, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. This is one of my favorite toners. Um, I do not like my toners to have a lot of active ingredients in it. I want my toners to be very moisturizing and hydrating um, because if you have a toner with like salicylic or glycolic 
or something like that um you can't just omit that active you know what i mean if it's the only toner that you have so i like it because if i don't want to use my active ingredients that day i can cleanse tone with this and just do a purely moisturizing routine and that's it so absolutely love it i'm actually using my laneige um lychee toner i think it's the fresh hydrating toner or something it's so good that one from laneige so those are my two favorites the one from laneige is like in a pink packaging and then this one as well is amazing especially in the winter because this has colloidal oatmeal so if you tend to get itchy skin during the winter that is bomb this is one that is almost empty, but I just decided I was not going to put myself through trying to finish it. This is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Moisture Replenish and Strength Hair Mask. And this smells like alcohol. Like it smells like pure alcohol. I don't know what happened. I've heard so many good things about this, but even now, and it's been like, I think I bought this like two years ago. And it still smells like pure alcohol and it dried the living crap out of my hair. And I just realized like, why am I going to try to use it again and see if I have a different result? I've used it three times to dry my hair out. Um, my hair is doing really well right now. I'm not putting myself through that. So I was like, I'm just gonna throw it out. Um, I went, me and my brother both went through two bottles of the Main Choice Cheers conditioner um we love this stuff i just purchased more love me some tears conditioner as long as the formula is still the same i'm gonna be buying it because it's one of the best rinse outs on the market and if you get it on a sale you can get it very very cheap um speaking of the main choice i have a few things here from them um i finished up a, a jar of their main metabolism this is the repackaged version that you can get on ulta i love it it's so good um, it makes my hair feel stronger. I feel like my eyebrows have been growing in thicker. My lashes have really been going in, growing in thicker. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but I've always had teeny tiny baby lashes. They've always had gaps. Um, they've grown in beautifully. Like, I haven't even had to, like, pull out falsies in a while. I love this. Easy to swallow. Um, these are not vegan, though. These do have fish oil, but these are really good. And I feel like because this has a lot of fish oil in it, it plumps up my skin. Like a lot of people say that they have issues with main metabolism in their skin, but this actually like made my hair more, I mean my skin more supple and plump and it just feels moisturized on its own without putting anything else on it for like my daily skincare routine. So I love this. I'm working on another bottle and when I'm done with that, I'll definitely get more. Um, I also used up this Luscious Lychee and Dragon Fruit Definition of Definition Jello. Um, I have like the slightest bit left, which I'm going to just use on a puff or something. And the last time I used this for like an actual wash and go, the wash and go was stunning. I told y'all I go back and forth with this product. One day it's beautiful, the next day it's horrible. Um, and so because it's inconsistent, you know, it's hard to get it again. But the days where it's beautiful, it makes me want to buy more. But I used it up. The last wash and go I did with this was absolutely, positively stunning. My hair just looked extra black and shiny and beautiful. And the curls were defined and fluffy. But I just can't get that result all the time. So, I mean, I may buy it again on sale. But that's about it right now. Um, from the same collection, I also used up the Fresh Mango and Passion Fruit Mask. This was a mask that I gave another shot. And I absolutely love it. I do have a backup smells so good the thing about this is that it's super duper thick i highly suggest applying this in the shower um because it definitely helps you kind of get it through your hair a little bit easier but it just makes your hair feel so lush when you rinse it out it's lush it's moisturized it's hydrated it's shiny and it has a little bit of weight to it too i love this so much so this is definitely going to be a repurchase and i already have another one ready to crack open and I'm sure y'all already knew, bowl buttery gel. I ain't got to say nothing else about it. I have so many videos featuring this product at this point. Just type in my name and bowl buttery gel. It'll come up. <laughs> also used up the Sultanicals Master Hair Cleanse Curl Detox. And I mean, what can I say? This is amazing. This is an awesome curl detox and it has definitely made me want to try more clay washes. Um, I do have the Hintonite, which was sent to me by my buddy Xavier. Thank you so much. I'll share it with you guys in a haul soon. 
I love the smell of this. It's herbal. It goes through the hair like butter. Um, like a lot of people were saying when I was reviewing the Myel, they were like, well, if it's a clay, like it's not going to have the best. I'm like, listen, this has amazing slip and it's a clay. I'm just like, stop trying to make excuses for like shitty brands. Like just let it go. Stop trying to change my mind on something that I'm clearly not going to change my mind about. I don't try to change y'all's mind. Why are you say trying to change mine? Um, but I really, really love this. It's amazing. It leaves your curls so like weighty and defined, but it definitely gets off the impurities. This is great because we definitely have hard water. Um, and so this really helps to kind of get all that extra stuff off. I love it. I definitely have to get another one when I finally can get another one. Like I said, sometimes Sultanicals just makes it really, really hard to support because you can't always get your faves. Another favorite and another detox product is the She Scented Passion Fruit and Flax Charcoal Scalp Detox. Y'all, I love this. A lot of people try to compare this in the Master Hair Cleanse, but there, there's no way to compare. Um, the Master Hair Cleanse is a true clay treatment. This is a charcoal detox in a conditioner base. So this has a lot of conditioning ingredients, but it also has a lot of charcoal and it makes my scalp feel so good. I have to get more of it. Um, I use this in a few ways. Sometimes I'll just use it as a co-wash if I don't really have anything in my hair. It definitely works great for that purpose. But I also like to use this after like shampooing. I'll put this on and let it just set for like 15 to 20 minutes. It's a great boost. I love this. It's amazing. If you haven't tried it, this made my best of she sent it. So you know it's good. I'm just saying. And this is a product that like so many people love. That's why it's always out of stock. And then from her sister brand, this is the Curl Origin Double Moisture Overnight Mask. I love this deep conditioner. If you love purely moisturizing deep conditioners, you need this. It's amazing. It is just, it just grips onto my hair in a way that I just crave. I already have backups of it. I love the smell. I love the texture. And you just can't beat the way that it makes your hair feel. It makes your hair feel so good. I love it so much. I highly suggest it if you haven't tried it. It's just, it's bad. Some more in the co-washing department. I used up the Honey's Handmade Goat's Milk Mango and Honey Cleansing Hair Lotion. It was cute, but it, it didn't do a lot. It's definitely like a low functioning co-wash. Like it didn't do a lot for me. I don't even think you can buy this collection anymore. And if you saw my review on it, you know, I wasn't super impressed with it. Um, it has amazing ingredients. I just need something that does a little bit more work. Um, I had to use a lot of it as well to kind of feel like it did anything. So I finished it off, but if I could repurchase it again, I wouldn't. Plus the um, cherry almond tapioca is like superior. <laughs> I also used up the Camille Rose Creme Restore Conditioning Cleanser. Y'all already know. I feel like at this point, we can say that this has a cult following and it has a cult following for a reason. One of my favorite co-washes. If you love to co-wash and you haven't tried this, it's amazing. This made like my top co-washes video last year. It's beautiful. I get tons of uses out of this too. Like it doesn't take a lot at all. Like I get like six or seven uses out of this. Um, I think I have one more bottle left under my sink, which means I need to re-up. But all the flash sales she's done, this hasn't been included, so... I love it. I also want to try the co-wash from the Her Essentials collection as well as the co-wash from the Coconut Water collection. I also finished up another OG. This is the Almond Marshmallow Therapy Leave-In Conditioner from Eden Body Works. One of my top leave-in conditioners. I love to use this on top of the hydration serum from the collection and I'll put my favorite gels on top of it. It's amazing. Um, it gives like good moisture, but it also has a lot of almond oil in it. So it's kind of silkening and it also kind of slightly seals as well. Love this leave-in conditioner. Of course, I have backups of it. Y'all already know. And uh, I was sad to finish it, but I already have another one. This is the Unicurl Curl Fantasy Styling Gel. Um, this is the one that Alexis sent to me during Black Friday. <clears throat> And the Curl Fantasy box. And y'all, I love this so much. This gel is so good. You guys saw the results that I got. And every time I have this in my hair, y'all are like, Brie, what's in your hair? 
I love this so much. It's a beautiful gel. I already have a video on it. Y'all can go type in my name, type in Unicurl. There's a video on it. I have videos on everything Unicurl makes. So you just need to type in my name and type in Unicurl and you'll find it. This is so good. Um, definitely if you are trying to find an alternative to like eco and wet line, this is a really good one to have. I love it. It works nicely with their like four in one, but I feel like the four in one takes a little bit of the hold away. I like to use this with the aloe curl spray because it gives me like good light moisture, but it also like plays really, really well with this gel. Another one of my She Sent It Best Ofs. This is the She Sent It Marula Mallow Leave-In Styler. I love this. It is light, but it packs so much of a punch. It makes my hair feel so good. I use it for a multitude of things. I use it as a leave-in by itself on, you know, underneath the gel or I'll use it as a leave-in, put a little bit of a cream on top and put a gel on it. Um, I also like to use this to do my braid outs on dirty hair. It's so versatile for me. It took forever to get through this bottle, y'all. Like I've been using this for a year and a half and I'm just now finally finishing it. That's how little it takes to get a result with this. I love this so much. Um, and I'm not sure if it's back up on the site yet, but as soon as it is, I will definitely be repurchasing. This is my ColourPop um, Precision Brow Pencil. It's like the only brow pencil that I use. I love it, it's cheap, and it makes my brows look bomb. <laughs> so yes, I will repurchase. This is one that I just cannot get through. I keep trying to use it and it's it's just not good. This is the Camille Rose Latte Define from the Leave-In Collection. Um, I've heard so many good things about this. I tried it and it just makes my hair look horrible. And on top of that, the smell on this is sickening to me. Just having it, ugh. Just having it in my hair, just it, it makes me sick. So I'm not even gonna try to finish it. I might see if my brother wants it, but mm, ugh. And I finally went through my Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. Um, this is the 25, the 18 fluid ounce. Um, I think it's like $25 on Naturally Curly. It took forever for me to finish it. This has become one of my favorite stylers for my curly hair. And I love it so much that um, I got this guy. The first time I've ever purchased a salon size of anything, I love it that much. Okay, I just had to go eat lunch because there was no way I was going to be able to film through that because they just kept getting worse and worse. And then my tripod broke. <laughs> so yeah, this has been an interesting filming day. Um, I'm sorry if y'all are a little, if things are a little crooked, but I gotta finish this video so I can start on another one. <laughs> So I was talking about the cookie dough body scrub from Lush. This came out for a holiday 2019 and damn, I love the scrub. It was super duper thick. It literally like felt like, you know, those slice and bake cookies and it had really nice granules in there and it made your skin so soft and crazy moisturized. A lot of people complained about how thick it was, but I felt like it was amazing. Perfect prep for shaving as well. So I love this. I hope they bring it back um, next holiday season because it's so good. For some skincare, I went through a two and a half ounce of the Urban Skin RX Pumpkin Pore Detox Mask. I'm not gonna lie, I got the small one because I just wanted the cute packaging. I'm not gonna lie. Um, we can just say like Instagram made me do it or whatever. But um. It still lasted me a really long time. Pumpkin pour lasts forever because you don't need a lot of it. Um, I love it because it has really great ingredients like kaolin. There's some salicylic acid in there to help attack breakouts. Um, this is like a self-warming mask. So as you rub it into your skin, it kind of heats up. And it also has little beads in it as well to give you a gentle physical exfoliation. I love everything this does for my skin. It makes my skin feel like a baby's bottom. I've already addressed some of the things that I've gone on with Urban Skin RX and my previous and my self-care Sunday where I use the JBCO stuff. So I'm not gonna keep harping on about that. 
So no, I'm not dropping what I'm using because right now it's working. And when you have problematic skin like mine, you use what works. I love this. It makes my skin so soft, supple, and it does help me if I'm having like a problematic breakout. I find that it does clear up a little bit faster when I'm using this. So I love that. This is a new Urban Skin RX favorite. This is the high, this is the Hydra Balance, Hydra Balance. <laughs> This is the Hydra Balance Instant Moisture Infusion with Hyaluronic Acid and Squalane. And this is from their Pro Strength Collection. Y'all, this moisturizer. Look, their moisturizers in general, I've been sleeping on them. They're amazing. <laughs> um, this is like a gel cream. And I love that it has that like airless pump situation right here. Um, this goes on so cooling and moisturizing. You can feel your skin like sucking up the moisture. It's so good. Um, I kind of use this whenever I feel like it. I've been going between this and their new, um, glow moisturizer, the one in the orange tube. I've been between that, um, both of those, and I love both of them. Like, you can't go wrong with Urban Skin RX moisturizers. Both of those are amazing moisturizers. Um, this one... I love to put on my skin before I do my makeup. This is dope. If you struggle with like patchy areas on your skin, like dry patches and things like that, or you just struggle with finding a good moisturizer to use when you're going to do your makeup, something that's not going to make you super oily, this is beautiful underneath your makeup. Obviously, I don't only use it for that purpose. I also use it on the nights where I use my um, retinol because it's very cooling and calming. I think I've repurchased everything I need because I had run out of some stuff and I'm going to try to fill my skincare routine soon since y'all said y'all did still want to see it. So I absolutely love this. It's amazing. I already have another jar sitting right in front of me. It's so good. Some more body. I used up my Snowflake body lotion. Y'all, this smells like marzipan, like almond cookies so good super moisturizing and nourishing to the skin i hope they bring this back this was amazing listen using that yognog shower gel and then doing the cookie dough body scrub getting off and patting myself dry and then just dousing my body in this listen sis was the most moisturized butterball turkey in winston-salem i'm telling you right now it was so good um, I hope they bring that back. I actually like this more than Once Upon a Time. Um, I feel like the Once Upon a Time that I have is not as thick and moisturizing as it was the first time it came out. This is very reminiscent of the first round um, in terms of how moisturizing and emollient it is. So I love this. I hope they bring it back because it's dope. For skincare, I used up the... Um, Urban Skin RX Pro Strength Super C Brightening Serum. This has 20% LAA and ferulic acid. I love this. It's so good. Y'all know I go between this and the Super Glow, but I'm definitely a big fan of this. Um, the Super Glow is even harder to get than this, but this was really hard to get too um, because their vitamin C serums are so popular. I feel like they make some of the best vitamin C products on the market because they don't irritate my skin. Um, they don't break me out, which is something that's very common with them. The only other vitamin C that I've found that I like is from Dermalogica. Um, I actually have like a little sample kit um, that has the, I think it's the Biolumin. Yeah, the Biolumin C. Um, and it has the eye serum and the face serum. So I have used that. And that's the only other one I found that um, doesn't break me out. But the price point is much higher than Urban Skin RX too. I love this. It's so good. Um, you really can't go wrong with either one of their serums. They do have differences in texture. Um, the Super Glow is 15% LAA and this one is 20% LAA. So this is a little bit stronger. Um, I would say the texture of it is a little bit smoother as well, but I love both of them. But I will say I love this enough that I ended up getting a kit just so I could get this because it was just sold out on its own. You know it's real when you buy in a whole bunch of other stuff too, just because you love that. <laughs> I also used up um, a bottle of the Super Clear Cranberry Antioxidant Clay Mask from Urban Skin RX. This was one of the pro strength masks that she came out with for the holidays. I hope she brings it back because I love this, but I do have another one that I'm working on now. This is so good. 
it, I find it to be a little brightening um, and it does help to clear my breakouts as well. It has kaolin, cranberry, and willow bark. I love it. And I got so many uses out of this. Like this is small but mighty. It goes such a long way. So I really hope she brings it back because I can't see how that wasn't a hit. It had to have been a hit because it was amazing. Okay, let's talk about this first. This is the Carez Black Pine. Um, I, what is it? It's like the 3D, 3D Sculpting, Firming, and Lifting Eye Cream. I, they recently changed their packaging. So a lot of their stuff from their collection ended up in TJ Maxx. Um, now that I work for the company, I know to get it when I see it <laughs> because people just, people be playing too much. So I got this when like they first put out Flo. Um, and I actually really, really like it. It's a really good eye cream. The issue I have is that there's a lot of fragrance in it. Um, and I can see the fragrance burning people's eyes if they have really sensitive eyes. So I feel like you should not have that much fragrance in an eye cream. So I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, like if I saw it in TJ Maxx again and it was like fresh out, then I might get it because I only paid like $4.99 for this. And with my discount, it came out to like $3. Um, but yeah, I just feel like I wouldn't pay that much money for something that has that much fragrance in it to be like in one of the most sensitive areas on your face. I also went through a little bottle of the Josie Marin Argan Oil. I love this oil. Um, I have definitely discovered that there's definitely different grades of pure oils. And just because something is Argan Oil doesn't mean that it's the best cold press thing you can get. This is the only one that I will use on my face. I'll use everything else on my hair and whatnot, but this is the only one I will use on my face. Um, and I honestly never um purchase a full bottle because one I don't go through facial oils that quickly because I mix them in with my moisturizers but two they're always giving these away as point perks like there's always some sample kit point perk or something so I just got another one of these in a sample kit that I got when I made a purchase at Sephora so I already have another one but I wouldn't purchase like a full bottle of it just because you can always get like freebies of the little ones and I don't need a full bottle of it. I also used up one of my Laneige um, lip sleeping masks. This is in the sweet candy flavor and I really like it. Y'all already know I love the Laneige lip sleeping mask. Just their lip products in general are my favorites. So I love this. I have um, the mint one, the choco mint, um, and the just the regular berry flavor sitting on my nightstand. So I love it. It's always a repurchase. I always have backups. Um, I also used up a sample of the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse Balm. This was actually really, really nice. Um, but I think I would want to get the regular pre-cleanse, the cleansing oil. So I think I'm going to try that soon. I really want to try that one. And Huda Catan, um, her break-off brand Wishful, they just came out with a, like a cleansing butter. So I want to try both of those. But this was actually really good. Um, but not my favorite like cleansing balm right now i'm just like heavily in love with my um i'm just heavily in love with my one from pharmacy the green clean so i also used up the color pop lippy balm in passion fruit and i really liked it but i wouldn't repurchase it it's cute but it's not the best balm on the market and I also finished up the First Aid Beauty Arnica Relief and Rescue Mask. This was a point perk and I'm definitely getting another one of this. Um, so this is like a moisture mask and it's supposed to help like calm your skin. It has Arnica and oatmeal in it um, and I love it. I use this on days where like if I've been outside a lot and my skin is really red and kind of inflamed, anytime I have some type of irritation on my face, if I like, sometimes I rub my face too much, like when I'm actually doing my skincare routine, like I'll rub it too much with the towel and it'll be a little raw for a few days and this comes in handy. I have to have the big size of this because it's just, it's amazing. It is a cream form. I don't use it every day because this does have coconut oil in it. And when I overdo like the coconut oil and cocoa butter, like it, it can eventually clog my pores. But for every other night when you're having irritation, this is amazing. If you haven't tried it, it comes in like a large one of those metal tubes. I gotta get one because it's so good. Um, First Aid Beauty is one of like the few brands that I like branch out from with Urban Skin RX only because 
they formulate for sensitive skin. So it's really great if you have very sensitive skin. I have a hydrating lip treatment. I love this stuff. It's dope. It's always out of stock and it's always out of stock for a reason. It's amazing. Um, I have two backups. So whenever I like make a purchase on their website, I will try to get one if it's in stock. And if it is in stock, I'll usually order like two or three. It's that good. And then I used up the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. This is the Crushed Lavender and Coconut Scent. These body polishes are really good. Um, my mom had a sample of the rice milk and she was like, hey, I'm not gonna use this, do you want it? And I was like, yeah, and it was amazing. So I think it's macadamia and rice milk. This is dope. Um, I haven't repurchased this scent, but I have the mango one and y'all. Listen, talk about summertime bay. It smells so good. Like when I use it, it smells up the whole house. So these are really, really good. They're very moisturizing. If you like something that's not as abrasive as a lot of typical like body washes and polishes, the Dove is a really good way to go. I have some body washes from Bath & Body Works. I have the Stress Relief Sage and Cedarwood body wash, which I love. I wish I knew that it was not gonna stick around because this is amazing. Um, one of my favorite scents from the Aromatherapy range. I like it way better than the lavender and cedar wood it's good and it, it's a good staple scent to have but it it just doesn't compare to my aromatherapy it just doesn't so i love it um i love the the stress relief but it's not here anymore i hope they bring it back at some point so i went through both of these and i also used up the um love jasmine and sandalwood moisturizing body wash first of all these moisturizing body washes are everything they're so good they're so moisturizing um if you like the dove body washes you will love these and the jasmine and sandalwood fragrance is just such a pretty scent um i absolutely love it i still have i have a pillow spray i still have a little bit of the body lotion left i think um i also have the scrub and did I get it in the regular shower gel? I don't think I got it in the regular shower gel. I should have because that one is no longer up either. Um, but it's it's really good. And we also went through the... I also went through the uh, Sage and Cedarwood body cream as well. Love the body creams. I don't really use their lotions like that. But I love the formulation of the body creams. Um, and... I should have had one more soap in here. We just finished up Twisted Peppermint, but I don't feel like going to go get it out of the bathroom because I need to change it out. Um, but this is the Ice Gingerbread Foaming Hand Soap. I love the foaming hand soaps because they go a long way. I love them because it goes such a long way, especially during this time. I'm really happy that I had a huge stock of them because um, even though we're home and we're using them a lot, like we're finishing them up, finishing them up a little bit quicker, but not to the point where like we don't have anything to wash our hands with and for a while like you couldn't find hand soap so um i'm happy that the like a little bit of these goes a long way um the ice gingerbread scent was yummy i went through more than one wallflower but i don't know where the other two are so this i don't remember what this was was this leaves no it's not leaves I don't know what this was, but it smells good and I liked it. That's all I can tell you. Right now I have In The Stars and I love that one. It's a really nice girly fragrance, really good. And I also finished up a lot of candles. I've been at home, so I've been burning candles. You see I'm burning one right now. I used up pumpkin pecan waffles. And I really enjoy the, the scent. It's definitely like a basic bitch scent, you know, like everybody loves pumpkin pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, I just don't understand those people who just act like they're so superior because the only thing they like is pumpkin pecan waffles. I'm just like, it's not my fault that you have the most basic like palette on the planet. Um, but pumpkin pecan waffles has maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice with um, brown sugar, pumpkin spice and brown sugar with essential oils. I really like it. It's an easy candle to burn. Like it's one of those candles that if you burn it, you're going to be like, mm, 
my room smells good or my house smells good. And when people come in the house, they're going to be like, oh, it smells really, really good. Um, it's a really good scent to have. I'm not like crazy about it like other people are, but would I totally buy more? Absolutely. I also went through my berry waffle cone. This reads sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla with essential oils. This is basically the more potent summertime version of pumpkin pecan waffles. This is a this is a scent that I, I can understand being completely crazy over. Um and I've been wanting to get more, but they like the sales have been shit. Like y'all have been asking me for more candle stuff and I'm just like I'm not buying candles and the things that I love, like I wanted to do a favorites video for candles, but most of the things that I love, they didn't bring back this year. So I can show it to you, but you can't go buy it. And I am not going to show you guys something and then y'all end up falling into that trap of buying a candle for $50 on eBay or Mercari. I just don't want to be that person. So I love Berry Waffle Cone. It is back this summer. It just has the most beautiful, like, berry, crusty, like, it just makes me think of boardwalks and the beach. It smells so good. I love this candle, and I'm definitely going to get more, but I'm waiting for them to finally put the new ones on sale. I went through my last pistachio ice cream. This is my absolute favorite candle from Bath & Body Works. The notes read roasted pistachio, frozen almond cream, and lush vanilla bean. I was waiting on this to come back because they usually bring it back for Mother's Day and they didn't bring it back. So I'm out of my favorite candle. I love this so much. Um, I had a couple of this hideous Best Mom Forever packaging. It's an amazing candle, but they didn't bring it back. So that's that. Um, I went through a peppermint marshmallow. This is another favorite scent of mine. This usually comes out around holiday. Um, and the notes on this are peppermint and spearmint essential oils with notes of powdered sugar and marshmallow. Um, this is like a really nice comforting sweet marshmallow scent with a dash of peppermint. It just screams wintertime. It's comfy. It's cozy. It's just so good. I feel like anyone would like this scent. Like if someone walked in your house and smelled this, they'd be like, oh my god. Like it smells like a winter wonderland. I love it. I have, let's see one. I have like one full one and one that's almost done. So I love peppermint marshmallow. It's so good. A lot of, basically like a lot of these are my candle favorites. So you're kind of low key getting the candle favorites. I also finished off a frosted cranberry and I do have another one. Um, this is uh, cedar wood and orange essential oils with notes of iced cranberries, and it's just so good. It is a strong um, cranberry, deep. It's It has like that clove, orange, there's some cinnamon in here, there's some cedar to really deepen up the scent. It's so good. One of my favorite fragrances. Um, and I burn that year round because it makes me feel cozy. Like if I'm having a bad day, I will burn that. And like, we have a really spacious house. I I burned it the other day and like walked out of the room for a few minutes to go get food. And I could smell it downstairs in the kitchen and my door was closed. That's how you know it's good. I also went through Marshmallow Fireside. I feel like this is another basic bitch fragrance. Like if you, I just don't understand why people think they're so superior for liking certain things. Like, why do you feel like you're the only person, you know, who has good taste. Like you can like sugary sweet scents and still have good taste. It, and if you're a basic bitch, that's great, but you don't have to act like, you know, because I feel like marshmallow fireside is nice, but it's nothing to write home about. Um, This has toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, crystallized amber with essential oils. I feel like this is nice. It's a good one to have. Like it's another one of those like crowd pleasers. If you're burning it, people are gonna walk in your house and they're gonna like how it smells. Um, but is it my favorite? Absolutely not. Um, I more so love this for the luminary situation. I like it when they do those luminary candles. This was beautiful while it was burning. I also feel like the throw was not that good. Like um, if, if you want any marshmallow scent, get peppermint marshmallow. The throw is so much better. Um, 
And I just feel like it's just more, I don't know, it's more cozy than this is to me. I also used up Cranberry Woods. This is like the sweeter, more woodsy version of Frosted Cranberry. This has Tart Cranberry, Cinnamon Bark, Forest Cedar, and Golden Amber. Um, and the Cinnamon Bark and the Forest Cedar make this a little bit of a brighter, a brighter scent. But it's so good. Also super cozy and comforting. I definitely want to get more of this when it comes back around. It's really good. Another absolute favorite that you can't get right now um, is Pink Petal Tea Cake. Um, this had a lot of success last year and I don't know why they didn't bring it back. Like I understand that like a lot of people don't like florals. But this is such an approachable floral. Um, they have like gone strawberry pound cake crazy. And it's just like... I love strawberry pound cake, but I'm just like, y'all can chill now. We have enough of it. But Pink Petal Tea Cake has pink rose petals, um, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. And this is a sweet, like, rose. Didn't think about if you, like, took out the seeds of a, vanilla pot, of a vanilla pot and mixed it in sugar and then dipped rose petals in it, that's what it would smell like. And it has, like, a slight berry note, too. Kind of like a strawberry. I love this. I have one more and I haven't burned it yet because I can't get it right now. More and we're done. Um, this is the perfect autumn. I was so happy that this came back last year and I love the packaging on this too. I finished last empties. I finished up Chris Morning Air in the same packaging. I love this so much. If you love Frosted Cranberry, you'll love this. And this, the notes are... Fresh cranberry, spiced pumpkin, crisp apple, rich clove with essential oils. And I feel like this does actually have like, it's not just the pumpkin spices, but you can low key kind of smell the like the meat of the pumpkin in there. Which I really enjoy. The apple and the clove just give it something that um, frosted cranberry doesn't have. Frosted cranberry, cr frosted cranberry is a bit more sharp. But this like projects, like it pro it projects in the same way that Frosted Cranberry does. I love it and I'm definitely gonna get more. I also have the wallflowers in it too and I'm really thinking about putting one of those in because I've just been craving cozy vibes, y'all, so. And then the very last thing I have in my empties is creamy nutmeg and this was so good. Sweet, almost bakery and nutty it has spiced nutmeg sugared cinnamon vanilla chestnut with essential oils this is so good i wish i had gotten more than one on candle day but i got as many as i could carry <laughs> um this was really really good this is in the holiday packaging it's a really nice creamy warm sweet but not overly sweet scent it's so good so inviting definitely gonna repurchase this that is everything that i used up this season um, I got through a lot more than I thought I would, honestly. So I'm really proud of myself. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, are you guys getting through your stuff? Because I feel like I'm doing a really good job of getting through a lot of things that just have been like down on their last use. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.